In my life, I've slept with more men than are named and or numbered in the Bible. Old and New Testaments put together. And not once has someone said, Arnold, I love you. And the winner is... Cox Tawn Trilogy! This month marks the 35th Broadway anniversary opening of Harvey Firestein's play, Torch Song Trilogy. Everyone was so scared I was going to say something very embarrassing to you all. The story of a Jewish drag queen longing for love and a family was groundbreaking for its time in the early 1980s. It was written by and starred Harvey Firestein, alongside a young Matthew Broderick and actress Anne Bancroft. The play won multiple awards and catapulted Firestein into the spotlight. He quickly proved he wasn't a one-trick wonder when his musical adaptation of the 1972 play La Cage aux Folles picked up a Tony Award in 1984. And of course, my lover, Scott, who's typed everything late at night. Thank you all. I love you. Thank you. The writer and actor would reunite his original cast for the movie adaptation of Torch Song Trilogy in 1988. You might meet a nice girl someday. You never know. Believe me, Ma. I know. With Firestein being vocal in his belief that its story, centered around a family, would connect with all audiences. There's nothing I need from anyone except for love and respect. And anyone who can't give me those two things has no place in my life. In the 1990s, he landed supporting roles in some hugely successful movies. In Mrs. Doubtfire in 1993, he played Robin Williams' likable gay brother who helps Williams drag up to pose as his children's nanny. man has 5 o'clock shadow at 8.30 a.m. and you're worried about strings? All right, we'll start with makeup. Then in 1996, Firestein brought his refreshing uh, wit with a brief appearance in the alien invasion disaster movie, Independence Day. Oh, crap. Moving seamlessly between stage and screen, in 2002, Firestein stepped into the shoes of a character that he would return to again and again over his career, Edna Turnblad. Firestein would be the third star to step into the slingback shoes and own the character. The feel-good movie Kinky Boots caught Harvey's attention, and along with pop legend Cyndi Lauper, they teamed up to write the Broadway musical in 2013. He called me up and... I've always wanted to work with Harvey, actually. And I just finished the dishes. He said, what are you doing? I said, actually, nothing. We will begin this century making a range of shoes for a range of men. Firestein's energy shows no sign of stopping. This year, Harvey has been treading the boards off Broadway in Martin Sherman's Gently Down the Stream, playing an older gay man with a young lover, getting excellent reviews. And in September, Torch Song Trilogy returns to the stage, this time starring Ugly Betty's Michael Urie. Well, that's all for now. Don't forget to watch our daily news bulletin throughout the week and check back with us again next week for more Pink 60 Entertainment.